Well, May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and our next guest was heavily influenced by her Taiwanese heritage as she wrote her upcoming book. Jean Lin is the founder of Colony, a design gallery and studio in Tribeca. In her new book, out May 14th, called What We Keep, Advice from Artists and Designers on Living with the Things You Love, she gives an insider education in collecting and design through a series of interviews with the best in the business. And Jean Lin is one of the best, and she she joins us this morning. Hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah. Well, first of all, can I just say I love your whole look. Oh, you thanks. look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I had to dress up for CBS. Oh. Well, <laughs> tell us how your upbringing, you know, influenced your career and also this book. Yeah, you know, honestly, growing up, my the focus was never really on design, never mm. really on aesthetics, like an immigrant family, hardworking parents. Um, really taught me to value integrity, honesty, hard work, and family, um, which you would think isn't the best transition to find your path mm -hmm. to something that is so design oriented. But um, honestly, when I, I saw what my parents did, it really empowered me to feel like I could do anything. And I was very, very lucky that my parents and my family were so supportive when I had all these crazy ideas. Like, I wanted to move to New York City and study fashion. I wanted to start my own company. It all felt very um, foreign to them, but it was, it was, um, it was supported. It was like full, true support. That's wonderful. And so, you know, a lot of people in my industry have these like really long heritage of um, of design mm -hmm. and and um, aesthetics. But I kind of came t here through a different path. And your book, it's you know both your parents, your parents are uh, immigrated from Taiwan. My That's parents right. immigrated from China, so I yeah. understand what you're talking yeah. about. To have that support is so important. Um, now you interview so many different designers and artists in this amazing book, and Thank you get you. their take on how to collect things. How did you find them, and and you know choose which ones to to go with? Yeah, I mean, I think I I should say that the book is organized. It, it is very informed by my heritage. Mm -hmm. It's organized in five chapters, five of which are reflecting the five traditional Chinese elements. Um, the elements, they all inform each other, but they're also um, distinct in their qual qualities, mm -hmm. and that is, was sort of the perfect way to organize the book. Um, as far as who I chose, I think that my that brings it to where I am as a professional. Mm -hmm. My my role in the design industry is a unique one. It sort of treads the balance between the maker, the artist, the designer who creates the spaces, and then the people who live with them. And I have found over my career that that balance and that mutual respect is what sort of makes magic. Well, Jean, this is an amazing book. I love it. I can't wait thank to look through so every much. page, giving so many ideas. And thank, thank you, you for being here. Yeah, of course. And again, What We Keep, it's available on May 14th, wherever books are sold.